So let us discuss repulsive interaction. In last class we have discussed Van der Waals interaction energy and that was minus A over R raised to 6. That was attractive interaction. Van der Waals interaction was attractive interaction uh, due to the polarization of the atoms. Okay, uh, that means positive and negative charges. Positive and negative charges will polarize and uh, due to this polarization, due to this pol due to this polarization, the particle, the atoms will get attracted. Okay, that energy is minus A over R raised to 6. Uh, that is the attractive interaction and from experimental data we will get repulsive potential as b over r is to 12 okay b over r is to 12 is the uh, interaction energy interaction energy okay so potential energy of the two atoms at separation r is actually uh, when two atoms brought together when two atoms brought together mm -hmm. the attraction as well as attraction uh, attraction is in the form of minus a by r is to 6 and repulsion repulsion is due to uh, repulsion is due to uh, the repulsive interaction this negative charge and this is the negative charge if we uh, bring this two close then this char this charge will, this charges will get repelled okay this is negative charge this neg this is negative charge if we bring that two close then that that charges will get repelled okay so that uh, a repulsive interaction energy is proportional to 1 over r is to 12 and is less than uh, is less than the attractive potential okay and the total potential energy of two atoms at separation r total potential energy at two atoms uh, total potential potential energy total potential energy total potential energy of two atoms at separation r is u of r is equal to u of r is equal to attractive interaction is proportional to minus 1 over r raised to 6 so minus 1 over r raised to 6 and repulsive interaction is uh, minus r raised to 12 minus uh, repulsive interaction is 1 over r raised to 12 okay so u of r is 4 4 epsilon sigma over r raised to 12 minus sigma over r raised to 6 is is called leonard jones potential okay epsilon and sigma are new parameters for epsilon sigma raised to 6 is the, this is the value for a this is the value uh, for a and uh, this is the value for b for epsilon sigma raised to 12 okay um, uh, sigma raised to 12 these are the new parameters epsilon and sigma are new parameters and uh, uh, this will be different for different atoms okay uh, different atoms from experimental uh, from experimental data or uh, from experimental observation we can uh, find the value of epsilon and sigma okay and the force between two atoms is given by force is the negative gradient of the energy potential energy okay that is negative du divided by dr okay when two atoms brought close together two atoms brought close together the energy distributions will overlap the energy distributions will overlap okay if we consider if we consider the energy states of one atom it's like that uh, up spin and down spin electrons filled this orbitals filled with this energy states filled with this energy states and then another atom if if you bring another atom close together close together then the uh, electrons of then the, this, this is the electron arrangement of one atom then the electrons of the another atom can occupy only in this energy states only in this energy states due to Pauli's exclusion principle so uh, if you bring two atoms together this form uh, the energy states of the energy states of energy levels of this uh, lowest energy cannot occupy another electrons so there will be a strong repulsion when we bring this two atoms close together okay so now we, we need to find out the equilibrium lattice constant that means when the lattice constant uh, when the atoms are almost at rest okay almost at rest or minimum energy level and the coercive energy of an inert gas crystal is given by summing the leonard jones potential over all pairs of atoms in the crystal and the total potential energy is in the form uh, of this equation u total okay so when we consider a one dimensional array of atoms uh, these are the um, the interatomic distance the interatomic distance is r and the distance between this atom and this atom is 2r and the distance between this atom and this atom is 3r etc okay and uh, when we consider when we consider the interaction energy uh, first uh, we can take this atom so, uh, as, as the reference atom this is the ith atom and when we consider this atom the 4 epsilon into 4 epsilon into Leonard Jones potential is 4 epsilon into the repulsive interaction is sigma over sigma over p i j r sigma or p i j r this is the distance between this atom and this atom so that is 1 r 1 r raised to 12 minus sigma or 1 r whole raised to 6 okay and then we need to add another uh, add interaction between this atom and this atom okay so that is 
plus 4 epsilon sigma over the distance between this atom and this atom is 2r uh, whole raised 12 uh, minus sigma by 2r whole raised to 6 and next we need to uh, count the interaction energy between this and uh, this atom and another atom so in, uh, for that we need to um, we need to substitute uh, we need to use 3r instead of this 2r okay in that way we can add the odd interaction energy so when we consider uh, when we consider ith atom okay and when we consider another atom when we consider another atom uh, if we uh, if we consider uh, this atom the interaction energy between this atom and this atom is similar to this one this already we have counted okay so we don't need to count the interaction energy between this and this one okay and um, uh, so at that time we need to consider the interaction energy between this and this one this and this one this and this one etc okay and when we consider another atom this is if, if we take this as the ith atom uh, then we need to add we need to add the interaction energy between this atom and this one no need to add no need to count the interaction energy between this and this one because it has already added so due to this pairing process due to this pairing uh, we can take if there are n atoms we need to count only n by 2 the interaction energy of n by 2 the, in, the number of interaction energy uh, we need to add is n by 2 okay if there are n atoms so we can use this relation for epsilon and this pij is this one okay pij we can understand it this way uh, the distance between this and this is 1 r and the distance between this and this one is 2 r etc and that is that uh, represents the pij the term 1 over pij okay and pij r is the distance between reference i and any other atom j okay and uh, let us take this as equation 1 u total total uh, leonard jones potential is this one and for fcc structure we can find out the uh, for fcc structure we can find out the sum over the value of uh, the sum over j 1 over pij raised to 12 okay this is the uh, sum over j pij all raised to uh, uh, pij raised to minus 12 is 12.13 188 etc we can uh, we can extend this value uh, we can extend this value because the interaction energy will be less when we consider uh, the second nearest neighbor or third nearest neighbor like that okay the interaction energy will decrease and uh, pij raised to minus 6 is equal to 14.45392 okay that also we can calculate this is equation 2 the equilibrium value of r0 is given by requir uh, requiring that u total be a minimum with respect to variations of the nearest neighbor distance r okay so um, the energy is minimum the potential energy is minimum at r is equal to r0 that means du total divided by dr is equal to 0 okay uh, that is equal to 2n epsilon into 2n epsilon into uh, this for fcc structure 12.13 into 12.13 into 12 into uh, 12.13 into um, we need to differentiate this uh, we need to differentiate this value with respect to r so 12 12 into 12 into 1 by r raised to 12 is 1 by r raised to 13 okay sigma raised to 12 minus 14.45 into when we differentiate this one 1 by r raised to 6 we will get 6 uh, uh, 6 divided by r raised to 7 into sigma raised to 6 okay sigma raised to 6 and uh, the sum over j 1 over p i j raised to 6 is the uh, 14 point 6 is 14.645 uh, okay so we will get this value 12.13 into 12 into sigma raised to 12 over r raised to 13 is equal to from this relation is equal to 14.45 into 6 into 6 sigma raised to 6 over r raised to 7 uh, and that will provide the value sigma or uh, sigma over r raised to 6 sigma over r raised to 6 as 14.45 into 6 divided by 12.13 into 1 uh, 12.13 into 12 okay that means sigma over sigma over r is equal to 14.45 sigma over r is equal to 14.45 divided by 24.26 whole raised to 26 whole raised to 1 by 6 and from this relation we will get uh, we will get r by sigma is equal to r by sigma is equal to 1.09 r by sigma is equal to 1.09 and that minimum distance we are taking as r0 so r0 by sigma is equal to 1.09 at equilibrium okay so we can find out we can we can take r0 is equal to 1.09 sigma r0 is equal to 1.09 sigma and the cohesive energy cohesive energy is the energy need to separate two atoms apart 
at absolute zero and at zero pressure, you total uh, uh, you total at R is equal to two n epsilon twelve point one three two n epsilon twelve point one three is the value of uh, one over P i j whole raised to twelve for H C C structure twelve point one three sigma over R whole raised to uh, twelve minus um, four point four five sigma over R raised to six. Okay, and at R is equal to R naught R is equal to R naught the U total uh, R naught is equal to two n epsilon two n epsilon this two and um, uh, the uh, four over two is two, so two n epsilon into twelve point one three into sigma over r at r is equal to r naught. The value of r naught is one point zero nine sigma, uh, one point zero nine sigma all raised to twelve minus one uh, four point fourteen point four five into sigma over one of one point zero nine sigma all uh, sigma raised to six. Okay, and uh, this sigma and sigma will get cancelled. This sigma and sigma will get cancelled. And we will get the value as minus. Uh, uh, we will get the value as two n epsilon twelve point one three into point three uh, three five five minus fourteen point four five into point five six point five nine six. Okay, and the final values minus four. Uh, final values this one two uh, n epsilon into minus four point three zero six. Okay, and we need to we need to multiply. We need to multiply and divide with this. Uh, we, we need to multiply and divide with two, and we will get. Uh, we will get two into two is four n epsilon into four point three zero six divided by two is two point one five. This is the calculated Cauchy energy when atoms are at rest for FCC structure. And for different atoms, the value of epsilon is different. So we need to find out the experimental data for epsilon. So we will get the total energy at R is equal to R naught is minus four n epsilon two point one five into two point one five. Okay.